Minecraft players are getting too smart. Back in the day, a simple trap like this was enough to kill some of the best players. But now, any random noob is capable of avoiding even the most complicated traps. Clearly, the old traps have something the new ones don't. So, I'm going to transform and update Minecraft's oldest traps to outsmart this SMP. Starting with doors. As you can see, not very deadly, but still gets people to activate this trap to this day. How? With this in mind, I kept testing with friends and put everything in the document of what kind of upgrades these traps needed. I found that the door trap was made in 2011, so if I compared it to the modern day traps now, it makes it look harmless to get trapped inside. So to change this, instead of having the doors closing in on you, what if it drops you 80 blocks below ground next to a warden? and change the doors to iron. The issue is, I'm in an SMP that is full of smart players, and with a trap like this I want to open, they would just check to see if it's normal. So I disguised this block of gravel amongst all this andesite, so no one can tell it apart from the rest. And because it obeys gravity, I can use this to upgrade this trap. To make it look a bit more normal, I put multiple door traps with only one door trap having gravel. If there's a piece of TNT below the gravel, if I get inside, it would drop me to the pit where all the wardens will be down below. However, this pit needs to be at least 80 blocks below ground because of how this warden works, the sound it makes is so loud, you can hear it on top of this mountain, which is around 80 blocks tall. So after a few hours of mining, I found out there was a deep dark below the fake base. Ooh, I could definitely use this on one of my traps. But before I capture the wardens, to make sure these players won't escape, I placed on crafted tables on the wall, so if you use a pearl, it won't work. What I also noticed about these traps is that that it's next to a village also known as my fake base. See, recently my real base was found by the Jonathan Cole, my biggest enemies on the entire server. This group of players glitched the server to get netherite armor and threatened to kill me if they ever saw me. So if I can trick them with a base full of traps that I made, I can take my real base back. Despite this, if I want to finish upgrading the door trap, there has to be a warden inside this pit. The bad news is, the warden can despawn in under 5 minutes without a name tag. You got to be kidding me. So I grabbed a few name tags for my real base carefully, got completely naked and went straight to the deep dark. What I'm going to do is jump in that pit and make the warrants chase me up the stairs so I can outrun it. Come on, get up. Woo! Okay, one down. Elmans! 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 The plan backfired, and once I came back down, all three wardens was stuck. So after multiple deaths, I slowly took out this piece of block that was holding them back and rescued the wardens. All I need to do now is to put them inside the pit. Over here, bruh. That definitely did not take three hours. Now that I captured all three wardens, to prevent these players from mining out, I covered the pit with blocks of obsidian. And I also placed buttons on the walls, so glitching inside the crafting tables will not work. Making a door trap, finish. But if this is going to be my real base, the players that I'm trying to kill will try to look through the village to try to steal my valuable. And to stop that, I'm going to use this chest to protect my loot. Because when you open this chest, the floor will open up and make you fall into a pit of lava burning to death. Well, from 8 years ago. Now, there are many ways to escape this trap, like a water bucket or a fire resistance potion. This trap is meant to keep players out of your chest, so we need something to detect the player from a few blocks away. A puffer fish. Get close to one and it will grow bigger. Except for the entire time I've been playing on the server, I have never seen a puffer fish. It's a fish, right? So it should spawn here? Why can't I find any? What I didn't realize is that a puffer fish is a tropical fish. And the only way for them to spawn is in the biome called the Deep Lukewarm Ocean. Oh, stupid lobby. So I built this, where a puffer fish will be swimming in that machine where it will grow big when a player gets close to my chest. I'm gonna use this regular minecart for this test because this can be very dangerous. From my testing, I use the golden pressure plate because once the puffer fish goes big, it'll activate this TNT minecart, making it explode. So now you don't have to open the chest to die. Uh, one thing about this trap, I can't let anything get too close to it because of how puffer fish works, it will detect anything that moves. Dude! Oh, that be s nah, man. To make sure this actually happens, I tested it in my creative world. And 
Yep. Oh my gosh. I need to make a fence, dude, because that, that is very unsafe. And so I did. With this, I could feel a little bit safe. I also made sure the villagers won't activate this trap by uh keeping them in quarantine. Upgrading this old trap is almost finished. The problem with this, however, is that I need TNT. Because what I'm going to make with these traps will progressively get more dangerous as it goes on. The best place that I know I can get stacks of gunpowder for the TNT is in this abandoned creeper farm. But I can't be seen in public by the cult members, so I really need to be careful. Okay, just me being here is a danger alone. I thought I could use this abandoned creeper farm, but I've been waiting for two hours. I figured it was broken, and fixing this creeper farm this complicated, there is no way I can do that. So, I'll have to do it the old way. While I'm collecting gunpowder, click the link in the pinned comment to join the Infuse SMP public discord. As of recently, we have launched a public anarchy minecraft server that you can join. You can find this and all the information on the discord server. Okay. I am finally done. With that out of the way, I made sure that I stayed 7 blocks away from the puffer fish. Because if I suddenly activate this trap while I'm placing this TNT, all my stuff will be destroyed. Uh, don't worry, I'm still here. <laughs> trap is now ready. For getting that much TNT, that took way too long. With two old traps fully updated in my fake base, what's next to upgrade is the deadliest trap on this list. A tree. How can this be a trap, you may ask? Back in 2013, an official Minecraft handbook came out to make this possible. If you mine the bottom of this tree, it will turn off this lever, activating redstone torches surrounded by TNT, blowing up in your face. And if it's placed in the forest, you'll have no way to tell if it's a trap. However, we can update it even deadlier. And unfortunately for me, the most dangerous if I'm not careful. Observer, they'll dig down. Oh shoot. Hey, okay, so obviously they're gonna mine down the tree. See, I can't risk the tree having the only mine the bottom half to activate. Especially since these players only wants to kill me. So there's not much for them to grief my base. With multiple tests to upgrade this tree, I need to do something with the TNT. Because if it's not the same type of trap, then it's not its old version self. What I'm thinking is to make this tree a shrine with a sign. Because then they'll get close enough to my tree to read the sign and boom, came over. If I want this to happen, I'm going to need a a lot of resources. Oh shoot, if that explodes, it might explode the church. Ah, it's fine. I also added carpet, so just in case if I get too close, it wouldn't one-shot me. With the tree being fully lomity proof, I made a small hole below the tree. Oh, I did it wrong. The one thing I need to upgrade this trap is an end crystal. But when I check the recipe for it, it's a bit expensive. Because the last three hours, I've been looking throughout the nether to find this gas tier. Nope. No, not, uh, not. Ooh, there it is. Let's go! Finally! Oh my god. With the end crystal finally in my hand, I got started upgrading this trap. So to make this happen, I built this tree with a scope sensor and a dispenser below it. Because if I get close to its range, it will shoot an arrow to this end crystal. Once the crystal explodes, it will light up the TNT almost instantly, making the explosion a hundred times stronger than the old version. Though this part, I need to be careful because if I make a sound, it's going to activate the trap and I'm going to lose everything. Okay. okay. Oh. Oh. Small little issue with the tree. There's also a chance the skulk sensor will activate if a mob gets near its range. Oh my god! Stop! Be dumb! Holy f So I placed on torches in my fake base to avoid mods from activating this upgraded trap. Everything was going good for me. I can finally say that these traps are perfect. Until 30 minutes later, I saw this weird explosion, which so happens to be close to my chest trap. What? Oh, that's 50 TNT down the drain. What made it go off? This didn't happen in my testing, but then I checked replay mod that I used to record my cinematics. From a single creeper, this whole trap was activated. Not even an hour later, the same thing happened to my tree trap. Oh my god, man. Oh. After hours and hours I spent to upgrade these old traps, why I... 
why do I even bother? But then I realized the whole reason I've been doing all of this is because of my real base. And my most prized possession is my actual base. And I still don't have it. So with this new motivation, it was time to start grinding back from score one. If my resource is low, I had to use what I had. I needed around 10 stacks of gunpowder for TNT. To do so, I went inside this big cave. Since there was a bunch of creepers that spawned here, I killed as much creepers as I can to get this much gunpowder after five hours later i made sure to cover up every hole the traps made to avoid suspicions all i really need to do is to rebuild my old traps and make sure this time it won't be activated by a mob and done with this new upgraded traps i made the tree more eye-catching because if i'm really going to trap these players with my fake base some of these will not work with the same style as the old trap i rebuild the tree to have a more explosive impact in case if the tree trap doesn't work i added another puff of fish to my chest trap and added a bit more chest to make it look like i'm super rich with the only trap being the door trap all i have to hope for is the player's curiosity to get inside the doors now with everything completely finished i need to use my fake base full of newly updated traps this is going to be difficult but i have a foolproof plan step one show a player named lanfy this fake screenshot you see this fake screenshot includes the most hated player on the smp if i make it look like like I'm team with him, it will be a guarantee that these players will try to find me in my own base and kill me. Step 2, accidentally leak my fake base coordinates to Lanfy. Since me and Lanfy were business partners on my last video where I started Minecraft's greatest business, he's gonna leak my base course and make sure that these players goes inside my fake base. While Lanfy is posting my base coordinates, I'm gonna be hiding this hole nearby my base. Because if there is multiple people coming to this base, I don't wanna risk dying from them. I still need my base, so if this doesn't work, I... it's... It's gonna be completely destroyed. While I was waiting inside the cave, it looked like nobody was coming for me. Keep in mind, these players aren't just average players. If I had to guess, they're most likely invisible right now. I couldn't do much but put invisibility on. To make sure I was hopefully wrong, I went outside and... Oh, I see them. I see them, I see them. But see so them. far, I have only seen one. Where are the rest? someone blew up okay so there is more than one player uh but where are they what is he doing he's not going anywhere to the tree Okay, my tree trap and my chest trap is done. I could maybe trick this guy to go inside the door trap. The thing that I don't get is he's not running away. There has to br there has to be something that's making him stay. I don't know what it is though. But uh, okay, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll try, I'll try, I'll try, I'll try. I'll have to play it safe though, cause they're probably stronger than me. Okay, okay, okay. Whoa, Whoa I'm lagging. Dude, I, I don't think I can put them on doors. Yeah, they keep pushing me back. Yeah, I can't risk it. Are they behind me? Oh! Uh, okay, okay, I'm gonna... Ooh, what the heck? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Holy crap, okay. Oh my god, I can't believe I did that. Something that's meant to be old, I actually did it. Though my traps was a success, oh, what about my base? I thought my real base got completely destroyed after this. But after a few thousand blocks away from my fake base, there it was. With nobody in sight, it's, it's back. Oh, oh my gosh. I can't believe I did it.